Now the selection tool in the tools panel over here actually lets you move, rotate, resize entire objects. So in this section you're going to become familiar with it. Come down here and choose two pieces from the artboard navigation menu down here in the lower left corner. This should fit the artboard on the right into the window. Select the selection tool over there in the tools panel and move the pointer over different artwork out here. And you're going to notice that the icon actually that appears next to the pointer indicates that there's artwork under the pointer that can be selected, that little box right there. When you hover over an object, it's outlined in a color as well, like this blue. It usually means that you're going to select it if you click. Select the zoom tool, and what we want to do over here is we just want to click a few times on the beige circles to zoom in. Select the selection tool again and then move the pointer over the edge of the base circle here on the left. A word like path or anchor may appear, and that's because smart guides are turned on. Smart guides are a temporary snap to guides that help you align, edit, and transform objects, and they're really useful. Click anywhere inside of the circle over here to select it, and you'll see that a bounding box with eight handles appears around the selected circle. And this bounding box is used to resize things, if you move your pointer away to rotate things, to do all kinds of stuff. And the color, which in my case is a blue, is associated with a layer. And you're going to learn more about layers in Lesson 9. Now using the selection tool, click in the circle on the right, and you'll notice that the circle on the left is deselected. As we click things, you deselect the previous object. Pressing the Shift key, click in the middle of the circle on the left, and you're actually adding it to the selection. So we now have both circles selected. Move the circles a little distance here by pressing and dragging, and once you release, they move together, you can see. You'll notice magenta lines appear, and you're going to see alignment guides are called. As you drag, the objects actually align to other objects and measurement label and all kinds of things here. All right, now to revert to the last saved version of the document, choose File, Revert, and then click Revert in the menu here. That's going to make it so that we all go back to the same spot every time. 